Max, take a look at this. Another case came in. Alma Pearson, she's a type 1 diabetic. This morning she suffered full-blown ketoacidosis. It's her third one this year. Hey, Alma. Doctor, good one. You want to tell me what happened? She's been rationing her insulin again. This time she could have died. Well, I'm going to help you, but you have to talk to me. What's there to say? When I was first diagnosed, insulin cost $21 a vial. Now it's $250. I'm a substitute teacher and I can't afford it. Can't afford to live. How can you help with that? Almost the eighth diabetic to come in this week. One guy was trying to make insulin on his own in his garage. Hmm. Who supplies our insulin? Uh, Essentia? Yeah, okay, Alma, we're, we're on this. Hey, Larry, I'm gonna go ahead and green light your plan. Uh, what's my plan? Your plan to terminate our contract with Essentia Pharmaceuticals. That's not my plan. No, maybe it's mine. Okay, Max, how are we gonna buy insulin? We're not gonna buy insulin anymore. We're gonna make our own. Uh, yeah, all this stuff can come out. Gotta make room for the new lab. <laughs> Chairwoman Grantley, were you? Riding in the freezer? Asphyxiation in a sub-zero box would be preferable to the earful I just received from the CEO of Pacentia Pharmaceuticals. You terminated our insulin contract? I did. It's this funny thing where I prefer not to buy medication from extortionists. I and the rest of the country share your indignation, but you can't just make homebrew insulin. It's not kombucha. This lab used to grow thousands of cultures, process hundreds of specimens a day. It's all perfectly safe. And that's for? Millions of E. coli cultures, which is way less scary than it sounds. What scares me are lawyers. Insulin is patented. And yet my body is making it right now for free. The patent is on how you make it. So Big Pharma keeps changing how they make it every couple years so they can file more patents, thus keeping competition down and prices up. We both know you can't make enough insulin for all of New York. So cut the kabuki and tell me what you really want. Seat at the table. A sit down with the CEO of Pacentia to negotiate prices down. A stunt like this doesn't justify dragging New Amsterdam into a billion dollar lawsuit with Big Pharma, the FDA, and Department of Justice. Now tell these people to stop what they're doing or so help me, I will fire them all. You're bluffing. Try me. Okay, sorry guys, change of plans. Just set that down. But you know what? This isn't over. Sure it is. These are some of the hundreds of prescriptions that New Amsterdam has written for insulin just this week. If these same patients were in Canada, these same meds would cost about a fifth as much. Sadly, hospitals are barred from importing drugs from Canada, but individuals are not. So, despite all appearances, New Amsterdam is not going to Canada to buy enormous loads of insulin for the hospital. We are, however, going to Canada to buy enormous loads of insulin for thousands of individuals. And we're gonna keep going back and forth until Pacentia understands that increasing their profit margin is not worth the 30 million lives they are putting at risk, one of whom is my patient, Alma Pearson. Thank you. Thanks. They're going to arrest you. Probably, but they say there's no bad publicity, right? And they would be wrong. Would they? Oh. Thanks, Dr. Goodwin. Second those trucks reach the border, you're going to have an international incident on your hand and a slate of pharma companies ready to riot. Maybe then they're going to be a seat at the table. That takes favors and finesse and time, but you keep throwing tantrums like a kid with a sugar high. That's because my patient, Oma Pearson, doesn't have time. I want a seat at the table or I'm going to throw another tantrum tomorrow. But, uh, give me a week. you got 10 hours till that truck reaches Toronto. Oh, God. You get your seat at the table? No. Sent you wouldn't budge. And the drugs from Canada? Customs wouldn't let medication loads that size past the border. Guess it was crazy to think we could beat them. Yeah. It was crazy. But while we didn't win, we didn't lose either. Essentia wasn't so uh, thrilled about the negative PR, so if I stop embarrassing them, they've agreed to offer you some insulin. How much? 
Six files a month. With that? Lifetime supply. What about everyone else? Everyone else who can't afford it? Oh my, you're my patient. And doctors fight for their patients, so today I fought for you. Tomorrow? It's another story.